Well, you're here for one reason, and that reason is... Why are you still saying? No, I'm just joking. Um, yeah, what it's like owning a 5M server. This will be coming up on... Uh, February will be six months of owning a legit QB Core 5M server. The server was really nice um, at first. Uh, and go ahead and tell you the cost of getting into it. It was about, we rented the server. Uh, so it was about, we rented it off Rocket Node. I can show you right here. We rented it off Rocket Node. Uh, it was about a hundred bucks for six months. Yeah, six months. We paid in a hundred bucks for six months. Um, we have the Gabby stuff. So we paid $20 a month for the Gabby's uh, buildings and stuff like that. Uh, so you're in at about 120 bucks to get it up and running, and then you got to do all the coding and stuff. So you got to like, you got to go through and you got to add all the resources. So like right now, I have like you have car sounds, casinos, the Gabby 24/7, all the Gabby stuff. This is all the resources I have in the game. Um, so depending on what you pay for and what you don't pay for, you know, is more more than likely you're gonna pay for stuff because it's better if you do that. Uh, this housing realtor stuff was, I think about 20 bucks. And I think the V sensor was $10. So yeah, I'm in at about that much money. Uh, more or less. You're broke. You're fucking poor. Uh, the money part was not a big deal. It was more along the lines of managing it. And the way, what I mean by that is it can get a little out of control sometimes. Um, and then if you have your friends in there, can be really, uh, it can be really nerve wracking when somebody does something, and then you have to say take away. Uh, for my scenario, I put in a script. It was the casino script. Uh, we had a couple of people get in there and exploit that script, and it led them to have millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars. They were spreading it throughout the server, so. In theory, people were not clocking out of work and clocking back into work, you know, said 5M server to play. Uh, the whole point of that game is to make some money to get by, uh, the Cubo Core side of it anyway. Uh, I understand where they were coming from. They didn't want to grind, but uh, I went broke three times on that server. It's very easy to, you know, gain your uh, money back. So um, it wasn't that big of a deal. I didn't think it was anyway. Um, that leads into it's very nerve wracking owning a server. If I hadn't owned the server, I wouldn't have give a shit. It, I wouldn't have cared about what was going on or anything like that. But I had to because I'm the owner of the souls, owner of the server. So what had happened was I lost, you know, unfortunately I lost like five players of the server and the server flatlined for the most part because those five. Three of those five players were very crucial to the gameplay side of it. Um, they had jobs that they come in and done and stuff like that. So, yeah, I lost uh, those three crucial players. Two of them were kind of AFK for a while. So, yeah, it was a bit nerve-wracking. The server flatlined, and we haven't really jumped back in it. I jump in every now and then to make sure everything's still working. And unfortunately, the garage just quit working. So I got to figure that out. Also, Rockstar said they would ban the server if I didn't take the cars out because we had a bunch of, like, you know, name brand cars, of course. So I had to take out all the cars out. But besides that, uh, yeah, uh, the server has flatlined. It is still there. And we do occasionally get on it just to see what's going on in within the server. It is a QB core server so people can join and play without other players in there because you can, you know, you can get jobs and stuff like that. But of course, uh, yeah, it was uh, nerve wracking to say the least. If I was to recommend you to own a server, I would recommend it because I loved owning the server. However, I would not recommend it if you are very a very nice person. Cause you're going to feel bad when stuff happens. I felt bad when shit was happening to my server. Uh, we had like a few guys feuding and they were streaming. And when you're listening back to the feedback to that kind of stuff, it makes you feel like some type of way. 
because you can't really do nothing about it, you know. So the beef is just going to be there. You can be there and be like, hey, guys, look, you know, he was out of role play. You know, I told him not to do it again, blah, blah, blah. Then you have to worry about banning people like randoms, not your friends, but randoms that come in just to mess around. You'll get you'll get three out of five players that'll stay and will that won't mess stuff up. The the other two that joined will be the guys that are like running you over, like during a scene and stuff like that, and you have to ban them. So that's what I said. If your server's live and if your server's live, it's hard to if 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 your server's live, it's hard to uh juggle all that in a way. Especially if you're the one wanting to create content. So I'm a content creator, obviously, on my YouTube channel. And creating content and managing the server was about impossible. Like, we would have our nights where we were having fun. Where other nights I was trying to recruit or staying up coding the server. So, yeah, it is uh, it is very nerve-wracking, to say the least. Also, it is very hard. It seems like it wouldn't be hard, but it's very hard to recruit law enforcement because everybody wants to do criminal shit. I mean, that's just how it is. It's fun. I want to do criminal shit. I'm the owner of the server, and I still want to do criminal stuff. I mean, that's it's just that fun. Uh, so, yeah, it is very hard if you're looking into uh, building a server these days. I don't know how 5M is doing at the moment. Um, I haven't been on it, and I haven't looked at any newsletters, and I haven't been on the Patreon. I also pay for the Patreon every month so I can have 64 people in my server and custom clothing. So there's another thing to that. I think about 150 bucks is a good solid answer for how much money did you spend on that server. I've had two servers. One was a vMenu server and this one was a QB Core. QB Core costs a little more, but the vMenu server, I was completely fully running for free all the way up to we optimized the cars. It was $15 for a hundred cars to be optimized. I had 200 cars optimized. So it was about 30 bucks. Um, of course I had the, Patreon account link so I can have 64 in custom clothing. I bought the custom clothing. It was about 30 bucks for that. So about 60 bucks in a V menu server. You, your friends can get in there and have fun. V menu server is pretty wild. Most people start out on V menu servers, but they do get pretty wild. If you want to go legit, go QB Core. That's what we did. I freaking loved it. Everybody else, I can't speak for everybody, but for the most part, everybody liked the QB Core server. Especially getting on and, you know, not having to wait for other players to get on to role play. That's, that was like the best thing. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a quick video on the 5M server. Um, again, my flat, <laughs> my server is flatlined, so we're not really operational at the moment. Um, maybe one day we'll roll back around and we'll be back into it and, you know, playing 5M again. Um, until then, uh, you can stay updated. I have a Discord for the 5M server, which you can find. It's Vice City Royals. I'll be linked in the description below if you want to jump in and help revive that server. Maybe. We do have two years till Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out, which is awesome. I mean, it's not awesome, but it's awesome that there, you know, there is a Grand Theft Auto 6 out there coming out, and we know there is. So, Until then... I don't know what 5M is going to do. Again, I don't know the state of 5M right now. I haven't checked on it. And I've left most of the Discord servers that I was in for 5M roleplay servers. But again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I brought some light to uh, what it's like to own a server for six months or so. It would help if you hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me gain those followers I need to be a YouTuber full time. No, I'm just joking. It does help out though. Thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.